I recently picked up this pair of boots off of Poshmark. I really like them, except that the left one has this nasty stain here on the toe. It wasn't evident in the pictures, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't clean these boots and remove this stain. So I'm gonna make a little video showing myself going through that process. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the laces from both of the boots. There's with the laces removed, and I'm gonna use this medium brush to sort of just brush off any of the dirt and dust. Get inside in here in the tongue. And really, other than that stain in the front, these boots are in really good shape. I love the patina that's already in the leather. I'm not sure if that's gonna survive the cleaning process, but we'll see. I'm not sure what this is, if it's oil, or if it's a burn mark, or a scorch mark, or ink, or who knows what it is. Hopefully it could come out. I'm gonna start with the not stained boot first, uh, because I wanna treat both of the two boots the same. So if the look changes, I want them both coming out looking the same. So I'm gonna start by opening up a brand new thing of saddle soap. So get a little bit of water in the brush, get that in the soap, work that into a lather, there we go, and then we'll use that to wash the boot. So that was that side. Let's work our way around the back. Now because I got these boots a little bit damp in the washing process, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick a shoe tree in each one of them to help them hold their shape as they dry. All right, that's the first boot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the second one. Go ahead and start with the shoe tree. does look like maybe that soap did help that stain come out a bit. Let's go ahead and work the tongue and I'll hit that part of the boot a second time. Let that work in. That, that looks way, way better. That's terrific. I was really suspicious that that stain was not gonna come off. I'm gonna hit it one last time just to see if I can't get the last bits of it to go to wash out. There we go. Now doing that, it does look like that that maybe took off a little bit of the oil out of the boots. I should 
probably even that out a little bit. Okay, and I think I'm going to go ahead and, and hit the toe of this boot again to make it match. Just leave that sit for a few seconds. Yeah. Good. Now, that shoe tree is poking out a little bit here. This shoe tree has a, uh, a smoother sides on it. It has a nice, more nicely shaped heel. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pop these ones in instead of just this one. This one expands when you put pressure on it to stretch open the, the front of the boot, but it does have that sharp corner here and here, and the heel on this one isn't as well shaped as, as this one. Let's put this shoe tree in instead. This one also has a little bit more support up in the top, whereas this one's a little flatter. a shape and it lifts this area up a little bit. There we go. Uh, the videos that I've seen say that once you've wiped down your boots with saddle soap you should then take a, uh, a damp cloth and wipe off the residue. So I'm going to do that next with a paper towel in some fresh water. Let's see what we get off of it. That soap had kind of a yellowish color. And I think the boot oil does too maybe, so that's why this is coming off a little orangey colored. Okay, that's one. boots now they're clean they're, they're a little bit uh, got a little bit of paper towel dust on them but that can wipe off later when they're dry now I'm gonna let these boots sit for a day before I go back and condition them after letting these boots dry all night we're back and now we're going to use this leather conditioner to condition the boots First thing we're going to do is take out the shoe trees. Now I'm going to use a clean rag to wipe down the outsides of the boots to knock off all the little bits and pieces of dried paper towel. Okay, now we're going to get started conditioning the boots. Again, we'll start with the one that did not have the spot on it. I like to do this by just squirting some of this stuff out on my finger. Rubbing it in. and crannies. So now that boot has been conditioned and as it 
dries out a little bit, it will lighten back up to that nice color. I'll stick a shoe tree back in this one and let it sit for a little while. And now we'll do the other one. You can see that this oil is penetrating into the, the leather that was dried out where I really had to scrub on that stain with the saddle soap. see that that has cleaned up really nicely. I'm going to put the shoe tree back in there. So now you can see those are well mashed. The leather's a little dark at the moment, but like I said before, it's going to lighten back up as it dries out. It is now the next morning and I've pulled the shoe trees out of these boots. They have lightened up to this beautiful medium brown and I am now ready to put laces in them and wear them around for a day and give them a little bit of a light break in. The stain that was on the toe of the boot is pretty much gone. After I shut off the video last night I realized that I had forgotten to condition the, the tongue of this boot so I went ahead and finished that up but they are now ready for use. So to wrap up this video, here's a final look at these boots. These happen to be the Red Wing 3343 Plaquesmith model, and they are in copper rough and tough leather. I wore these uh, all day today, and also took a 15 minute walk, which was about a mile. And you can see that as they've as they were, the leather was worked, it kind of, um, it lightened up the, the leather like on the toe and, and around the, the parts where the, the leather wrinkled and folded. You get that nice uh, lighter color coming up and through. And just for comparison purposes, this is a pair of uh, 9219 Foreman Chuckas. And these are also in copper rough and tough leather. And these are a pair that I've had for a little while. I'm still working on breaking them in. So the leather is, is still a little stiff, but the, the leather on these now, they look, they look very similar. Um, so I'm real happy with how, how this pair cleaned up and conditioned. I mean, they look, they look pretty much identical leathers and they've got the same kind of um, neat, neat markings on them. And I really, I'm really partial to this, this darker brown with the, with the lighter highlights on them. I love that leather. And just for another comparison, this is a pair of Iron Rangers. This is the 8111 uh, Iron Ranger in amber harness leather. These are also sort of that, that medium brown to dark brown and um, it doesn't have the same finish as the the copper rough and tough does um, this has this kind of real nice pull up when you wrinkle it um, this one this one less so it doesn't quite it doesn't quite act quite like that um, it's got a shinier finish on it so this is the final result